All right, I need to sharpen the blades on this thing, like for real. I kind of, I've kind of done it a little bit, like just with a diamond file on here, but uh, these things are in really rough shape. I'm gonna have to take them off and actually sharpen them, especially, I don't know, this one, look at this. Oh, I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, but yeah, there's a couple parts that are pretty damaged. Other than the, that though, I'm super happy with this machine. This thing's been amazing. And that, uh, that pulley I made, working great. So it's totally worth getting these things off. And of course, my wrench won't fit in there. I did make kind of a half effort a while ago of trying to get these things off and they were super stuck, so. A few years ago, I found this piece of stainless steel on the road and I just took an angle grinder to it. Hopefully, I've made a wrench that will fit. Oh, come on. Which way does this turn? Oh, nice. All right. Good. Come on, come on. Oh, that's... Oh no! Wrench is not. All right, I took out a chunk so I can get it in here. It's funny; it's starting to look more like a normal wrench. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, good. All right, this one though, man, this one even looks like it was damaged. Not been able to budge it. Come on. This is bending my wrench. Do I have to take one of my good wrenches and like file it down so it'll fit in here? I don't, I don't really want to do that. Plus, I don't know where my half inch freaking real wrench is. Not my real one. This is real, but my. Yeah. Where is it? Where's my half inch wrench? You don't know? Yeah. Are you sure? Man, I have to get this off. I can't leave one. I can't get the whole thing doesn't come out if one of these is tight. All right, I'm probably going to end up angle grinding this anyway, so I might as well just jump straight to that. <laughs> come on, get out of there. All right, I got one out. This is not the one with the stuck nut or whatever it is. There's one of the... Is there another one? Come there's on. three of those. The first one I tried to get is pretty stuck. I whacked my knuckle on that edge of that. Um, anyway, I wanted to get this out so I could take a look at it to see what would be the ramifications of me. Oh, these are just bolts. All right. So I should be able to angle grind one right through just so I can get this out replace it with another bolt. Jeez, it looks like someone already replaced this. Some really crappy bolts. A terrible job. These cannot be the original bolts for this. Someone totally must have replaced this. You know, a cut off uneven and stuff. Look at this! Look at that crap! Look how bad that is. Here. All right, when I cut this bolt out, I don't want it to get really hot. So I got a sprayer here so I can keep it wet. And I'm not gonna use my angle grinder because it's, I think it's just too fast. It's gonna heat it up too much. And the drill is a little harder to keep steady, but I, I think it'll be all right. Oh, and this is just a bolt and a nut and a couple, you know, strategically placed washers. I'll hold one of these wheels on here. All right. Let's see. Ah. 
All right, it took a couple minutes, but the other chunk of that just flew off somewhere. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, that should be all loose now. And to get the other blade out, I had to go up under here and tap the bottom edge of the blade. Ah, it's starting to move. Oh, it's starting to move a little easier than the first one. That's nice. Yeah, they're just kind of stuck in there with like years of gunk. Yeah, not too bad. Alright. Yeah, you want to take these screws out? Oh man, wow. Okay, I really need to clean up my desk now. Yep. Yep. Alright, you know what? Good enough. How do you know if a dinosaur or what? The whole street line and the whole town's out. If the dinosaur is doing what? Probably a dinosaur. Yeah, dinosaur. Because dinosaurs are tall. Yeah, I'm really going to have to clean this up. That's a, don't quite want to touch that edge, the sharp part. Alright, those are looking significantly better. I'm going to figure out how to sharpen them. Man, that edge is so messed up. Oh, wow. That edge is so messed up. I mean, you're gonna have to like re grind it somehow. How is the edge really messed up? Well, it's curved like that for one. Probably because it's been sharpened a bunch of times that way. And it, it doesn't work right. Because then the, the sharp edge isn't hitting the wood first. It's like this, this edge here is hitting. That's why I'm getting some. Not stellar results. All right, let's see if I can figure out a way to re-grind this edge. I just pulled that bolt out of there. Someone did a terrible job of cutting. I'm gonna have to recut all these. I checked, and it's the thread size in here is not the common thread size of bolts that I have, but I did find two that match, so I'll be able to replace the two that I cut. No, I just have to cut them to length. Alright, while well you get all those out, I will go see about those blades. I'm trying to think of what, I mean, my bench grinder wheels, I would not trust on this. You know what, maybe I can mount a brand new one of these on my bench grinder. pretty good. I mean, I could keep going on these because there's like a chunk out of there. But I'd have to take like a millimeter off to get that out. And there are no matching chunks out on the other ones, so yeah, I don't need perfection. I just need pretty good. That's pretty good. My jig here is a washer that I bent to the right angle. I hope. <laughs> Yeah. And then to do this, <laughs> I just clamped it down 
to where these were barely touching the wheel and then you know do a few passes and then loosen that tap it in just a fraction of a millimeter and then go again um, and it seemed to work pretty well I was I was thinking my grinder wheels here were not going to be smooth enough but I tested them we seemed all right all right my planar sharpening washer I'm not going to remember this so I'm putting it in video putting in this in this thing of stainless screws right there okay right there all right, now on the back side I want to make sure that I take off any bits that are kind of sticking out. I'm sure this is not the recommended way to do this next part. Uh, this has a flat enough edge here that I can actually rest this on and get the angle. And as I'm careful, Go test the wait a minute. Right, I have to deal with these things. Okay. Yeah, it took me like half an hour to get this thing apart, but went back together. I mean, like that, it was nothing. Oh, so nice. Now, I just eyeballed the height of these, you know, kind of looking in here. Like, they're all sticking up about a millimeter and a half. I can eyeball that pretty well, but, you know, I might have to readjust it at some point. Anyway, I couldn't wait, and I already turned it on. <laughs> and holy crap. Here, let me... Oh, oh it's so good like all right let me just show you for a second and i'm gonna take two millimeters off this before i was only taking one millimeter off off a board at a time and sometimes with really wide boards i'd, I'd only take like half maybe two-thirds of a millimeter off at a time but i just did like two millimeters off this and it's not even slowing down it's just like, it's like oh okay hold on
Now, I'm not going to claim the surface of this is perfect, but man, it is, it is pretty nice. Oh, it's really good. Huge difference from before. And I'm cutting off twice as much so I can go, I can go through these boards twice as fast now. Oh, that's, that's, oh. You know, I, came up, I came up here thinking, ah, let me see if I can sharpen those things. And it turned into like a half a day of renovations and restorations and crap. Totally worth it though. This is going to save so much time. Oh, that's so good. Oh, this crack in here is because I left it out in the sun and it dried too fast. But, uh. Yeah, the surface, man, it's great. This was termite damage, old termite damage. Termites are gone now. We can just fill it in with wood filler. I actually wasn't even gonna use this board, which is why I left it out in the sun. But now I, th I think I will use it. <sighs> man. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Oh, this is so good. You know, every once in a while you do something and it just, it just turns out spectacularly. Oh, and it's something super useful. Oh, so good, so good.